Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Kieno Esports stream. My name is Shadi Hanna, head coach of the esports program here at Kieno College in Fort McMurray, Alberta. And we are about to get underway with our elimination match against the University of Ottawa. I'm just updating the stream details for you there. You should see that live on your screens now. And the Huskies are going to be facing off against the University of Ottawa in today's elimination match for the Esport Canada Canadian Nationals competition. This is a GSL group style competition already from this group. York University has qualified and since this was a group of three, this will be the only elimination of the match of the group. The winner will progress to playoffs tomorrow. The loser is done in the competition. So a very high stakes match ahead of you here today uh, as the Huskies will face off against uh, University of Ottawa. Um, a very strong Canadian team, but you know the Huskies have shown over the course of the season that they uh, they have what it takes too, and they can you know they can step up, they can play a little game as well. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing what they have uh, available uh, or what they're able to pull off, what they're able to accomplish in today's match. Uh, the lobby has just been created and it looks like we're going to be starting things off on Invasion for our first hard point. We're just waiting for the host to get the game started. So we're going to begin with that momentarily and I hear that ticking time bomb sound in the back of my headphones and I think that means we will be shifting on over directly into the game here. Hard point on Invasion. Now, the competitive format for Canadian Nationals is a tad different because we are on MW3. The game still does not have uh, S&D configured effectively. What that means is, is that we're actually going to be playing hardpoint in, or sorry, control uh, configured. So we're going to play playing hardpoint into the search and destroy and then back into another hardpoint afterwards. So the Huskies are going to have plenty of opportunities to play on HP. It's one of the more aggressive game modes, faster paced. You know, a lot of the weaknesses that we see in teams is that they can get overwhelmed by the pace. And the Huskies are definitely more of a, you know, slow thinking team than they are a running gun. But that can also pay off in the hard point as well, because if they're able to get control of the momentum, you know that they're going to have their opponents beat on all of those rotations. They're going to get set up, they're going to get ready, and they're going to be able to hold on to that point for a long time. Piano now tied up here with Ottawa as Exelio takes a nice little gunfight on point. He's going to throw out some util and actually going to get shot in the back as the nade comes out. But the Huskies, they've done some damage on that first point and they're going to play to get these rotates early onto the second point. Now, Great Witness is actually going to peek out and look for a kill. He's going to try to find one onto Steppy and he will pick him up. But Shady swings out and gets the refrag there. Ek caught out on the back end here. And Brody left alone on point. He's going to be fighting into Hish and Steppy on the side of you, Ottawa. They've split on him, though. Hish is going to flank around and take him out. Kurz will take down Steppy. Ek goes for Kurz. The refrag after refrag after refrag. And you, Ottawa, will come out on top of that engagement with the hard point as well. So much utility getting tossed out by both of these teams. You know, we talked about fast gameplay. I mean, nobody's able to get really like a foothold in this match. It's just kill after kill after kill, and there's no time to really think, process, or regroup about what's going on. Ottawa already going to start rotating over to that P3 spawn. Yeah, I don't know. Finally, a moment to breathe for them and me <laughs> as we get into this third hill. And the Huskies just going to attempt to contain the Ottawa players on site. Ek and Steppy. Ek will take one and resort back to cover. But the push comes through and Ek holding his ground. He's going to be able to hold that down tight for you, Ottawa. Shady here finds a nice little timing onto the Huskies players. He knows Brody is there as well. We'll get taken down from Great Witness holding that midside. Brody pushing his way in and actually Ek gets the flick on him. And for the first time in this game, Ottawa have taken a pretty convincing lead here. Nice shots from Exelios. He sticks those onto Shady. And the Huskies, I think they're just going to end up conceding this one and start playing for that P4. Oh, nasty timing from Kurz. He just misses him. But he will jump over the window. I think he got called. That got called out. And Keanu's going to look to hold this one. The Ottawa begins their crunch onto the site. Hish spotted out, but that gun from Kerr is just not able to connect the kills there. Exelios will come out and trade that. 
Delia is finding the second one. Nice little headshot onto Ek. Great witness just goes hunting. Brody will clean it up. Trophy system down on the point now. And Keanu's going to look to hold this one. Exelio is just trying to defend for his team. Steppy gets a kill on sight. Calls that out to Exelio. Exelio is going to get his rotate. He catches him through the stairs. But Steppy gets the shots down through the stairs. And they're just trust Brody to do it. To be the man by himself. He's just that guy. Brody will get a second one with the pistol switch. And Kurz, after a full wrap around the map. We'll be the one to touch and close out in the points. And the Huskies are starting to even up this point gap just a little bit. Oh, good timing here. Great witness. We'll get the best of that 1v1. And that's going to give Keanu initiative on this fifth hill. On site now, Ek. Just holding the low ground. He's actually going to rotate up. Try to put some pressure on this piano player. It's Gizelios. Finds a shot through the wall. Gets taken out by Steffi, though. And you, Ottawa, makes light work of the Huskies on that push. Really nice shots here from Ottawa. Your witness will get taken down as well. And Ottawa, they're really starting to run away with this one here. They've reached the 100 point mark. They're nearly at the 150 as well. Keanu yet to make three digits. And Keanu just going to fall back to P1 here. For that next spawn. Brody holding above. The trophy system will give him info on where Shady's playing from. And Great Witness will pick up probably the freest kill of his career as he catches Ek just holding an angle. Totally exposed from the high ground. Ek spotted out there. I wonder if Exelios knows. And he's going to wrap around, but Ek ducking behind the pylon. I mean, cover wherever you can find it, I guess. Brody gets one with the pistol, isn't able to adjust in time. Great Witness with the jump and pre fire. He'll clean him up. Exelios doesn't give those ones for free. Exelios is a point demon right now. Now, a quick little note while this game is giving us a moment to think here. The players are playing on Modern Warfare 3. This game has been out for, I want to say, three weeks, maybe less. And they're playing in the Canadian Nationals on a game that, you know, they've hardly had a chance to play. And while every COD has a number of similarities, you know, the gunplay is pretty familiar. The movement is familiar. There's always some pretty crucial differences. And the biggest one, obviously, being the maps. And every map, you have to learn where the doors are, where the angles are. Can they be high or low here? What are the different places that can... You know approach from can they shoot through these walls there's so many little micro things and the teams that are coming out ahead in these tournaments are the ones that have been able to put the most time into the game to learning those little intricacies about what makes modern warfare 3 a different game from modern warfare 2 so kudos to both of the teams for adapting so quickly you know i feel like watching this game definitely more so than some of the other ones we've seen it doesn't really look like they're learning right now it looks like they're just like playing playing any other game but this is on less than three weeks practice right I'm trying to imagine any other place in life, any other sport, where you get three weeks to learn something ma major, massive, completely game-defining, and you just have to be ready for one of your most important competitions of the year. I mean, just crazy. Piano, you know, trying to ease, shorten the point gap a little bit here. They're on 140 now, and they're getting a little bit close, but Ottawa will break the 200-point mark here off that fight. Keanu's going to look to catch up. This is still definitely winnable for Keanu. Lots of time left in this one for them to make a comeback. I feel like Steffi has just been eating way more carrots than the rest of the Huskies. I don't know how to explain that to you. His eyesight is just so good. He's catching people through, like, the tiniest cracks in, like, the hood of a car... I don't know. I, I've got I've got bad eyes to begin with, but camo playing on on dirt and dust, and they don't have the big bright flashing red color outlines that we do. I mean, there's no way I'm hitting anyone on any of these maps. These guys are just built different. Oh, 
Husky's rotating to contest this. Brody's got a fantastic timing. He's going to take one. Sprays down. Gets shady as well. He's going to look for a third up top. Doesn't predict Hish on the stairway. And Curse gets caught lacking. Swings the angle. He's not ready to take the fight. And Hish will take him off. Hish again. I think that's his fourth in a row now. And Hish coming up massive for you, Ottawa. And the Huskies don't have time to mess around here. This is actually winning, winning territory here for you, Ottawa. And I think they've done it as Eck just controls those rotations so hard. Ottawa will lock things down on the hard point. And they're going to close this one out. 250 to 173. Ottawa, the University of Ottawa, will take map number one in today's best of five. In that game, the Huskies definitely had their moments, but Ottawa did look just to be more in control for the better part of that map. The Huskies, even when they had priority on the rotations, they were getting cleared out like that. They weren't able to hold on for too long. You know, taking a look at these KDs, you know, everyone actually put up a pretty decent game. The lowest on the Husky was 15 kills. You know, everybody was shooting, everybody was picking up kills, and the same for Ottawa. And there wasn't a huge discrepancy on the scoreboard. Just Ottawa was just playing a better team game than the Huskies were. And unfortunately, you know, even a small advantage can make lead to a big score difference uh, in the realm of 80 points like we saw in that first map. Uh, I do think the search and destroy, you know, based off of what we've seen, the Huskies will be able to demonstrate their strength on that map variant. But unfortunately, the format for this competition means we're going to be playing more hard points than SNDs. Uh, so if they want to come away with a win here today, they're going to need to figure out how to clean up their HP by the time we get to map three. We're going to give the team a second to do that while we wait for the lobby to get set up for game number two. And we're going to come right back to the stream here in just a few minutes as soon as we have our lobby created for a second map. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some more ECPS Canadian Nationals Call of Duty in just a minute.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Keanu Huskies facing off against the University of Ottawa in today's ECPS Canadian Nationals elimination match for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. My name is Shadi Hanna, and we're about to get started here. Back to Invasion for the first search and destroy of the day. And yes, I finally figured out how Codcaster works on the new COD, because they change it every year, and they never make it make sense. So... <laughs> the Huskies are the Huskies for map number two. For those of you that were with us on stream last night, that wasn't actually the case. We, uh, we got to see a new roster for Kiana. But I like the one we have. The one we have is pretty good. I'd prefer to keep it that way. You, Ottawa, starting things off here on the attack. Steppy going down. Kurz as well. So two major fraggers for both of these teams here. Getting taken down very early. Xelio is just going down now as well. To this pressure. And Keanu just doing what they can to deny this bomb plant on A. The nade's gonna go out, and actually the shots come down onto Ek. And Brody goes down to the nade from wit Great Witness, though. And a huge error in this one. Might actually give Keanu or give Ottawa the chance to get this bomb down. Great Witness. He doesn't know where Shady's playing, and he's going to go all the way for the wraparound, but I feel like Shady might be wary of this. Actually, Shady playing a totally wide angle right now. Great Witness is just going to clear it all out. But I don't think Shady spotted him. He heard that gunshot, though. Oh, this is dangerous! Great Witness didn't know which side of the tank to clear, and that's taken down by Shady. And the Huskies got to be kicking themselves right now. They had... The perfect setup, they figured it all out, and then Brody going down to Great Witness's nade, the team kill. Just a slight miscommunication. Huskies now will have the opportunity to attack here. Already their SD looking a little better, aside from that say that major flub here at the beginning of the first round. Outside of that. You know, they did a really decent job of controlling the pace of the round. And I'm hopeful to see how they end up playing this one out. Obviously a new map and a new environment, but... Oh, Curse, he caught wind of that. Oh, and I think he saw Steppy, the back of Steppy as well. He's just going to creak open that door. There. Oh, Curse, the trigger finger. No trigger discipline. And Steppy, I mean, my goodness. He's just going to get shot in the back here. And now Brody left alone. Last man alive. One versus four. They have the bomb as well. Brody and Shady just kissing through the wall here. Kind of funny to look at. I don't know if he's, he's going to know to check it. Brody. Beautiful movement from him. And he's going to get out of dodge. Stat. He saw the back of Steppy's head there. Doesn't have a ton of time to mess around with though. Needs to make a decision. Needs to make it quickly. No trigger discipline. Start shooting at Zep the second he rounds the corner. And Steffi will swing him for the third. Ottawa lead by two now in the SND. to defense for the Huskies. I think the big thing right now is the nervousness. You can tell kind of some of that anxiety coming through and the way they're taking these gunfights. They're, 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 they're pre-firing before they've got a clear shot of the guy. And it's hurt them more than it's helped. Spirit Witness going to lay down some cover fire. And as the smoke pops, he'll use that to reposition himself here. Curse will get taken down on sight. Exelio's gonna try to win that one. He's gonna spam it down. The swing comes out. Great witness. Will fall. Brody looking just to find where the bomb is and get shot while he's got his head looking in the wrong direction. Exelios will get the spray down through the truck. He's gonna reposition now. Ottawa, they've got their sights set on where he was, but they know that he's gotta be moving because they didn't see the repeat. And Exelios is just trying to find the most efficient way back to the site, but. That was a wraparound way to get to the bomb, and there is 20 seconds left, my friend. That is not a lot of time. 
And I don't think he's going to have the time to do it now. He needs to kill two and get the defuse. This one's all but done, but maybe he can do some ego damage. And no, Ottawa will take a convincing third round here in this one. Huskies just need to get it together for this next one here. They've they've shown some really good strengths as far as their ability to identify and gather information. But what they're able to do with that information, they're not acting quickly enough on the positioning that they're able to discern from you, Ottawa. When they find out where those players are, once they're able to track their movements and their tendencies, they're just not capitalizing on it as well as they'd like. Stunnade goes out onto Ek to zone him off the angle. The Huskies are actually going to look to go for a straight B hit here. Ek spotted out. Cover fire goes down. And Great Witness will just stick the plant here. And the Huskies now are going to try to get into their post plant position. But look at Exelios on this flank. Shady caught wind of him though. And Shady's actually going to chase him out a little bit. Great Witness going down, Brody on point here with Kurz. The two of them will be the guys to fight on site. Exelios gets caught in the back. And now the Huskies know there's about to be a fight here. The reposition from Brody. Kurz finds his. Brody gets one as well. Two versus one here. Shady gets one. Kurz picks up the gun. And Kurz clutches it up. Wasn't a ton of time there for Ottawa. They had to act fast and Kurd... Kurz read that situation perfectly as he picks up the rival nine. The flick to the headshot. Boom. Perfect execution for Kurz. And the Huskies are finally on the board here in round number four. Ottawa leads by two. First to six to take map number two. Still a chance for the Huskies to propel the momentum off that round and hopefully carry this over into the defensive half. The defensive side. Smoke Grenade goes out, covering that mid-control. And towards this inside. Great witness! Nice shots on Tech. He's going to try to spam down Shady as well. He's going to throw out the nade. Make them afraid of that angle. And Kurz now should be able to use that information. To his advantage here. He's just going to hold this angle for now. And the Huskies are just going to play a slow game. Wait for their opponents to make a mistake. Zelios jump spotting. Catches out Shady. And the Huskies, I think, have this read on this B hit. Steppy will win his. Spam comes down onto Hish. Not a lot of time left. Or Ottawa, but they are going to commit to this B side. And the Huskies just aren't ready to rotate yet. Kerr is on the flank. And he's going to look to speed this up here and play his timings. Oh, I think he caught the whiff of the, the edge of Shady's gun there. Yeah, he knows. He's just not taking his fight. Bomb down now. 40 seconds left. Huskies 3 versus 3. They had so much information and they chose not to act on it. Instead, they're going to regroup and play this retake. Steppy getting spammed out. Kurz will fall for that. And Keanu, they gave up their window of opportunity. They had the chance to go for the crunch. Kurz saw the barrel of Steppy's gun sticking out from behind tank and just didn't fight it. And a fight that could have almost been entirely winnable for the Huskies turned into a definitely losing situation as Ottawa locked it down. Huskies are going to look to take some aggressive space towards this a site bomb. Stone Steppy. Careful, buddy. Oh, Kurz doesn't stick the shots. And I 
think Ek and Brody are aware of each other here. Brody's just trying to peek through the truck, find his angle. Ek's going to take those first two shots. Brody's going to reposition away from that nade. He knows that nade is coming. Steffi does end up going down. And the Huskies are actually going to swing their way over all the way to this B side here. Looks like they're going to leave Brody to anchor this mid-rotate. And I think that's a correct call. Control that space. Oh, he knows they know Shady's in alleyway. Brody's going to jump out and swing him. This bomb should go down pretty handily for the Huskies here. Gazelle's on a late flank around. Eck will get the best of Gazelle's. Curse will get the trade. And Brody, I mean, man of the hour, he'll just lock it down. And the Huskies look to be an attacking team on this map. Usually more defender sided, but today their wins are coming on the def on the attacking side when they're able to take the initiative and get control. They're not able to react to, to Ottawa as well. Unfortunately, you don't get half points for a good effort in this one, and that means they're going to have to figure out how to win on their defense. Doesn't matter if they've been close, they've got to win it. Great Witness will resort to playing this B side. The smoke comes down, but he's playing an off angle, and he's going to catch out Ek. Shot stick. There's so many members pushing him, though. Tries to find a second one, but will set Kurz up for the refrag. Shady close. Two members fighting on Kurz. He's going to try to escape, reposition himself here, but the Huskies now have full information on their opponents. Brody just going to hold down this long lane. He wants to wait to see if they push out of that, go for the wraparound. Seems unlikely, but definitely a possibility. A hish! Sticks a good shot onto Exelios. He's going to duck out of there. JD was able to recover the bomb. Whoa! Exelios spent too long trying to line up the nade. He didn't see the guy pushing him right in front of him. Shady spotted out. Brody gets one. Pushed all the way around Hish here. And they're just going to play loop de loop. Is Brody no! The barrel stuff melee tries, but Hish gets the best of him. And Brody's reads were just not up to snuff on this one. That melee looks so awkward. He's like stuck his gun like over his shoulder behind his head. That's hilarious. No style points given in COD. You know, back on the attack. They've been good on these so far. But Shady finding an early nade kill onto Brody, and that's going to hurt the Huskies a ton. Brody has been so huge for them in this match so far. Spam through the wall, comes through from Exelios. He's going to get shot down. And the Huskies, I mean, they just look totally rattled right now. Hope for the best on this one, but already down by two so early in this SND. Steppy spotted out. Curves will duck out of that, but the Ottawa is on the prowl. They know where the Huskies are playing, and they're starting to take away all of their space. Oh, Steppy's shoulder peeked through! A great witness doesn't play his timings correctly and Kerr is now trapped in a box. He needs to fight all four of them by himself if he wants to win this one. And Ottawa will get the flawless defense to round out the map. That's a 6-2 SND in favor of the University of Ottawa. Definitely not as close as you would have hoped. I mean, 
didn't look bad on some rounds, but others, it just looked like a total mess. As Ottawa was just able to find a really important pick very early on. The Huskies just playing anxious, playing nervous. They had a decent hard point in that first map and just didn't translate into their search and destroy. Really the map type that they've been so good on all season. So Keanu is going to regroup for this one. They're going to get ready for their third map. We're back to hard point again on Modern Warfare 3 in the Canadian Nationals competition. We're going to give them a moment to prepare, to think, to strategize, ask themselves how do we shift the momentum of this match because right now it's going entirely in Ottawa's favor. We'll give them a second to do that and we'll cut to a quick break. We'll be right back with map number three shortly.
Everybody, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is we've got more Keanu Huskies caught. The bad news is the players started before I could mess with the darn freaking MW3 Codcaster settings. So, <laughs> on the University of Ottawa, we have Kurz, Great Witness, Brody, and Exelios. And on the side of Keanu Huskies, we have Steffi, Shady, Eck, and Hish. No, the rosters did not swap between games two and three. It was not a full season trade. This is not no NBA preseason, postseason type stuff. This is merely a $90 video game acting like a free Steam trial. Keanu takes the lead 15 to seven here, disguised as the University of Ottawa. And I apologize to any of you that are new to the Keanu Huskies channel because I can only imagine the confusion that you're experiencing right now. And Keanu came away with a big lead at the beginning of this one off the back of a number of important kills from Exelios. And now Brody says, I want a piece of that. Let me get some of that. And nearly finds a third for himself. Fish gets blown up by Kurz. Taken down. Great witness and Brody putting on a show here on this first point site. Huskies are doing their darndest. Oh my gosh, Brody, I feel like his bullets were going through his opponent there for a second. Great witness, having a difficult time kind of seeing what he needs to be looking at right now. Trophy system will blow that one up nice and easy. And the Huskies will get set up on this point. The jump and shoot him. I was going to say, Exelios, I feel like there's an easier way to play that. Oh, one found for Kurz, but he peeks out just a second too early. Eck will get spotted, but not able to take him down in time. Great Witness will go behind. Knows that he's been taken down and try to regroup and reset with the team here. As the Huskies will touch the second point. Those spawns are a little difficult to read here. This Great Witness comes up massive catching out those rotations off point. That's a huge play for him. He's going to be able to effectively isolate this point spawn here for the Huskies. Brody finding another two in Ottawa. I mean, their spawns are terrible right now. They're all over the place. The walk of shame for you, Ottawa Cod, as they try to get themselves to the point. And they're just lining up for Brody. He's going to shoot them all in the back here. Beautiful play from Great Witness and Brody to set that up. The rest of the team. <clears throat> oh, Brody actually found his timing on Hish. I thought he got spotted, but will duck and roll get swung up by Steppy though? Kurz will find Eck. Kurz will take Steppy down as well, and the Huskies are starting to build up some score here, pushing on 80. Hish, what the heck was that shot? That was crazy. Refrag comes out and Kurz will take down Steffi. Keanu will have initiative on this next point. And Grey Witness is going to be the hill player here for now. The fish going to get some spam down onto Exelios. Warning nade goes out. Good shots from Exelios. He's gonna try to do his damage in this one. Keanu, they've now reached 120 points. They've built up a pretty significant lead here. They just need to be able to retain that, and so far they're doing it here on map number three.
Keanu, they're holding the point, but these fights are starting to look messier and messier for both teams. Keanu, they're always getting their kills, but the rotations just seem very odd from both teams. You, Ottawa, just kind of walking into the Husky setup, not really checking, not jumping, not diving, not nading. Just dry, dry peeking everything right now. I mean, that's one way to play the game, sure. Huskies rotating over to this next point, and so far, Ottawa barely able to get 30 points on this map. It's a massive difference from what we've seen the rest of the series, where you, Ottawa, look pretty comfortably in control. The Huskies have really just activated here in this one. And they've turned it up one time for the boys. Katie will get taken down by Kurz. The Huskies will get back on the hard point and start generating... Some additional score here. Brody spotted out, and X just gonna bunny hop his way to another kill. It's a tactical shooter where you jump, spam the jump button, and hold down your right trigger. Piano now might be able to win this on their next point spawn. They've done a tremendous job. Adjusting based off of the results of the previous games. And this is a must win game from the Huskies, as currently Ottawa leads by two in this series. Deanna really needs to make it work here. Good news for Ottawa is they're able to generate an additional three points over the last three hard points consecutively. And the first airstrike comes out as Brody will use that to find an opening pick here and break open the U Ottawa defensive line. Keanu will get themselves onto the point. And the Huskies should be able to wrap this one up here. As 30 seconds remain. They're actually going to not touch the point as U Ottawa respawns and wipes them out entirely. And they line up for Grey Witness with the Colat. Knock them down like bowling pins, collect a few more points on the site, and away we go. It's a good day at the office for Keanu. Huskies just need to touch. They're playing their outers, trying to pick up, make their picks, get their rotations down. Put those spawns in a favorable position before they commit to this point, but... You Ottawa is not going to give them a second to do that. Oh my goodness. Kurz and Great Witness mow him down. Ottawa have to bum rush the point here. They really don't have another choice. 10 points, 10 seconds remaining for the Huskies. And Great Witness is. Is that 32 kills for Great Witness? It's an unbelievable record breaking performance for him in this map. 32 dropped. For the GOAT himself, great witness. We had the opportunity to witness some great things on that map from him. I mean, what a game. Out of our veteran COD player. I mean, everybody, absolutely everybody was fragging there. 27 for Kurz, 29 for Brody, 33 for great witness. Now, I don't mean to keep harping on that point. But Great Witness is usually a bit more of a dirty work player. He's not an entry fragger. He's not the guy racking up your kills. He's not the guy leading your scoreboard most games. He's always doing good, but that is a performance to be remembered from him. And a beautiful way to get the Huskies their first map victory here in today's series is the Huskies will take the hard point on sub base. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken... We go back for yet another hard point on map number four. This is the new MW3 rule set, the temporary rule set, before the new CDL rule set is official. Still waiting to figure out the, the official list of GA that weapons and items and maps, etc. Like I said, the game is very fresh, very new. So I apologize for any any new information that we might discover over the course of this broadcast, but my understanding as of right now is hard point 
into another hard point and we round it out with an SNB on map five to mimic as closely as we can the structure to MW2. So we're gonna give the team a chance to get set up for their next hard point. The Huskies looked fantastic on that last one. They've definitely made some key adjustments and I'm hoping we can see a repeat performance out of them on map number four, for force the series into a two to two and give us a fighting chance at playoffs for Canadian Nationals. We're gonna be right back after a short break with map number four.
Thank you all for your patience as we waited to get map number four set up here. Keanu Huskies versus the University of Ottawa. University of Ottawa leads two to one in this series. And they let me set up Codcaster this time. So everything looks and feels fantastic. I'm so excited to get back into the hard point here as the Huskies are going to get going right away. And I believe... No, you know what? I'm not even going to guess. I, I did not catch the map name. I'm brand new to me. But it looks cool. Can I call it Cool Map? We're going to call it Cool Map. We've played Invasion. We've played Subspace. Sub-Zero. And now we're on Cool Map. <laughs> map number four. Huskies need to win this to keep their series dream alive. Ottawa wants to get out of this series for themselves. If they win this, they go straight to the playoffs this weekend. Into that single elimination bracket. For Keanu, this is their last collegiate event of the season before the winter semester begins in January. They know, you know they want to go out with a bang here. And they're going to try to do just that. Unfortunately, you Ottawa will get the lead early on in this one. But the Huskies will be able to start rotating over to this next point spawn. And the nade timing from Exelios just doesn't match up. He does get taken down there. He's going to get pushed as well. The trophy system coming out from Brody. And the Huskies are just getting timinged here. They're not able to set up or they're they're not setting up at the appropriate time as U-Ottawa is just pushing them constantly. Shady's positioning is going to get called out to Kurz here. And as long as he plays his timings right, he should be okay. But Steffi will shoot him in the back of the head and end that play before it lays eggs and walks away. I like to imagine strategies laying eggs. JD staring at the floor. I think he was like, I'm just on point. I'm just going to hide and chill. They're never going to come and kill me, right? And I guess he just didn't anticipate the pure insanity that is Great Witness gunning him down for an additional 12 points on that P2's bond. Piano now, desperately trying to defend this. Two versus four. Brody will get taken down. And Exelios runs out of bullets before he can finish the job. Eck is going to push him with the SMG. Ish will get taken down from Great Witness. Great Witness will get refragged. And oh my god, everybody hit the floor. Bodies are dropping everywhere right now. These are some very fast and messy and chaotic guns by Shady. Just going to crouch and hold his right trigger button and break. And it's going to work. Tactical shooter, folks. Tactical shooter. Trophy system identified for the Huskies. Made some important noise, but also determined important information here. And this time, Ottawa's learned the Huskies' sneaky little tricks. They're not just going to walk away from the point while Kurz is holding it, and they're going to trade him out. Already on site here for Ottawa. Hish tucked into the background here. He's going to find a kill onto Kurz. He's going to get called out as well. Great witness will help out his friend. And the Huskies will start off with a point control here. It's getting a lot tighter than some of the other hard points we've seen. So far, it's either been incredibly dominant for you, Ottawa, or incredibly dominant for the Huskies. I haven't really had too much of a back and forth. This one finally delivering on that promise of a close match. You know, we wanted a banger tonight. This is a great game, a great opportunity for the Huskies. And they are showing up big as Curtis finds himself a three-piece in the site fight. And I like this defensive positioning from Keanu. They're stacking the site. They know that Ottawa likes to just kind of run in and flood the site. And they're, start they're starting to play trades with each other. Oh, this is awkward for Great Witness. He's got himself into a really nice position. But just not in time to see Steppy sneaking out from under the stairs. We're already going to group up with his friend down below. And they're going to inch their way onto this next site here. As you, Ottawa, will hold. <clears throat> Broke the system again. To fight again. And Brody shooting before his body had fully dropped. That crosshair went everywhere. Ish will clean him up as well. And Ottawa... Despite the score looking close, looks to be much stronger here on this post plant. They've really cleaned things up on their setup. Making it very difficult for the Huskies to break in. A big kill for Great Witness, but I don't think it's going to mean result too much right now. 
And even though the Huskies will get a few kills here, there's only 15 seconds left on the clock. The Huskies are going to start thinking about this rotation over to that next site. And Kurz, I mean, this guy's just got spider senses. It's crazy. Oh, great witness. Surely. Surely seeing Shady there on that fight. Shady will drop all the way to the low ground. Chuck the nade up. Hish will be the one to re-peak. And great witness. He got his timings played. And punished Hish. Ducking away from pressure there. He's going to peek out into Brody. Brody's going to switch over to the auto pistol. He's going to try to find a shot. But he got taken down as well. And P1 going back the way of Ottawa. 115 to 108. This is neck and neck, folks. We'll take down Hish from behind. <clears throat> and the Huskies, I think they're just going to call to give up this P1. Let them take their additional score and start playing for that P2. And I think that's correct. They're not going to flood the site, though. They're going to wait and hold for these rotations. They know how fast Uadwa likes to play. And Kurz, he tucks for that. And rather than, rather than running to the point, he's actually going to back back out and continue to control this mid zone. He had the right read there. Shady just got the best of him in that gunfight. Shady finds great witness in the back too. Brody will drop and trade him. And the Huskies, their master plan, breaking up, broken apart by Shady. Just winning out on these gunfights that he has no business winning. Ish set up on point. And Ottawa now, I mean, it's really just a gunny diff. Delios will shoot down Hish. He's going to pull these rotations over from Ottawa. Unfortunately, he just ran right into the labyrinth, right into the lion's mouth there. Yes. Steppy trying to show off his parkour, parkour skills as he jumps from wall to wall like he's playing Super Mario Brothers. And quickly finds out. We know how this aim goes. <coughs> Husky's going to hold down here on P3. They're set up early. This should be the big difference maker. Honestly, this is the point they have to win. If they want to stay in this map, they have to win this point. Zelios now just dry peeking into Shady. Fantastic movement here from Brody to tuck and roll his way in. You know, Brody, one of those players just known for finding the most absurd timings. He finds himself in the most like phenomenal positions every game without fail, and it's so weird. Like you'll see a gunfight happening somewhere on the minimap, and as the observer, I'm gonna go to Brody's POV just to see how he's moving, because I know he's gonna be somewhere weird at a really good time for his team. Just has that ability. That time, Hish. Hish tur turned his weird sensors on and caught with of what Brody was planning. Pistol diff for Kurz as he's going to take down Ak, and then the refrag comes out. But should buy his team enough time to get positioned, but they just walk right into Hish. Brody finds one. And Brody's turned up right now. He's, he's not going down without a fight here. He's going to do his darndest. Scary position for the Huskies. Uwadua, I don't think they can win off this point alone, but they can definitely make it scary. So Kiana will try to get themselves established here. They're going to give over a little bit more score. Oh, Kerr is swinging out with no bullets in the tank. But look at this positioning from Ek. He's already on site. Ek finds two. Great witness just eating the entirety of X Arsenal. Ek might have just won it for his team. And I think that's going to do it. Ek. That was disgusting. Keanu, they just don't have the time. They have to clear out everything. He's going to try to run onto the point. 249. He gets there. Exelios. Oh my god. The Huskies have held it down. There is no room for error now. They have to win this. They have to win the next one. They have to win every point after that. They cannot 
give an inch right now. Oh my god, curse! <laughs> Finds the refrag with a quarter of a second remaining. Exelios wins up on a huge fight. The Huskies, they're actually going to be able to get this one. But they stepped off the point! Keanu just c 9 themselves out of the map. They left Kurz alone. Ek played his timing. He swung out. He, he did it. What a wild and crazy end to map number four. And while, you know, in my head, there were like 20 different nominations. There's only eight people in this lobby. I don't know where I'm getting 20 from, but so many different people you could have said were the MVP for the way that they played or the way that they performed. But if you're going to give it to anybody for the way that match ended, Eck, my goodness, what a performance on that last map. Kudos to the University of Ottawa. They will be moving on to play in the Canadian Nationals playoffs this weekend. Eight teams will be competing in that single elimination bracket. One will be crowned champion of the country. Best of luck to the University of Ottawa after their victory here today in that competition later this weekend. Keanu, as the only representative from the West Coast, unfortunately, in this competition, will be tapping out here today after that 1-3 to three loss against U Ottawa. Thank you, everybody, so much for your support across the entirety of the season, whether you cheered for us in Valorant, in Overwatch, in Call of Duty, whatever it may be, whatever leagues or games or matches or teams that you supported. We really appreciate you being here and giving your energy to our teams as they play in these competitions all year round. That will be the last collegiate event that the Cano Huskies will be comp competing in the duration of the fall semester. And we'll be back in stride in the winter when things get serious with CXP for Call of Duty and a number of other major events for some of our other titles as well. So thank you so much to everybody for being a fan and supporting us here on the Cano Esports channel. My name is Shadi Hanna, head coach of the Cano Esports program. We look forward to seeing you back again on stream this winter as we prepare for the launch of our new SMG Esports facility and full promotion of our esports program. Thanks all for tuning in, and we'll see you back again in the new year.